ton ami yeah. You're all I see When I close my eyes and dream You're all I see yeah. You're all I need, all I need Stuck in a traffic jam. That view looks a bit more bearable. Not too bad. Not being stuck in this traffic jam every morning going to work. Looking out onto that. Yeah. Not too bad at all. Just left Lake Annecy, um, just camping just solitaire with that. Really nice five nights there, really pleasant. Good weather. There's a couple opposite us who were uh, lovely old couple, Maureen. Less of the old. Less of the old. Oh, Roger's 80. First first day we saw him, he'd had a bit of a bit of an incident with a, with a fellow with a dog off the lead, it really shook the old fella. But he was funny, he was a funny bloke. And she was lovely as well. They were both a lovely, lovely couple. couple yeah. Now we said hello to them this morning, and uh, we're now headed off towards the Dijon area. We're gonna stop before Dijon, and we're not going into Dijon itself. We're just going in that direction. And we'll find somewhere to stop. Hopefully it'll be a good place. We've got a couple in mind, but we'll see. Right. So after leaving Annecy yesterday, we drove up through the Jura region, through the forests, up through the hills, and we've ended up at Swear, Sir, Sir. And uh, we've used the camping car park app to do this stop. You buy the card in advance, fix five euros, or you can actually pay for them as you arrive uh, but you can use the app see what's available you can pre-book so you know that you've got a spot at the air before you arrive rather than turning up finding it's full and having to go to a different one so yeah sir 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 like burr like butter but with an s i guess anyway sir it's right by uh, the river it's really nice it's a a former Municipal campsite, so really big, spacious pitches, just like a campsite because it was a campsite. Um, the facilities of the campsite are closed down, they're long gone. Uh, the block's still there, but they're not in use. So, yeah, basically, when you arrive, you can touch the screen there to purchase a, a card. I think that comes to you in the post afterwards, but anyway, you can, you can do it as you arrive. And if you have got a card already, you just drive up. You've got credit on your card, so you can put, use the app, put money on the pass to tap. Once you've got credit on there, you pull up, hold it against that keypad, barrier opens, in you go, choose your pitch. And the app's really good, it updates. We watched people arrive and you could see the number of spaces update pretty much instantaneously. So you, could, you know, that you're going to get in or not um, but if you want to be safe you can pre-book so yeah there's the, uh, the layout of this site so anything greater than three days reservation is needed anything greater than 21 days is forbidden so you can actually stay for 21 days you can't do your barbecues although it says no um, fire barbecues so I don't know if that means gas barbecues it doesn't mention that it's no fires and no fire barbecues, no caravans, no tents, no double axles, no cars. Dogs always on a, a lead and a car being towed on a trailer by a motorhome is acceptable. These are the rules, so you can get your tables and chairs out outside your own camper van within your space. And like I say, this is an old municipal campsite, so you have a large pitch in front of you so you can get all your chairs and tables there, it's fantastic. 
keep your animals on a leash and uh, use the electrical sockets on service hookups only for charging my vehicle's batteries. Now I'm not sure quite what that means because that means, does that mean you can't use your telly off electric or you can't use your electric plate on your cooker, charge your phones? I'm not sure, a bit unclear on that. Obviously clean up yourself, use the, uh, the bins provided. And we phoned because we had an issue arriving so I had to phone them and straight away they answered the phone Spoke perfect English, sorted it out, barrier opened, in we went, no problems. Um, and on the app it tells you when you've arrived, when you're, how long you've got left before you are charged for another 24 hours. So you know when you need to leave by, or if you want to stay another day, you know when that charge is going to come into effect. Yeah, I found it really easy. And everything's free once you're in, obviously. So we paid €12.60, I think, for a night. It's all secure, CCTV, all digital controlled. This is a really good one. There's all different kinds that they have, obviously, in the whole network. So you can get a preview of them on the app. You can see the pictures and reviews and work out for yourself how good it is or what it's going to be like. Whether it's going to be just a, a glorified car park or... There's, uh, one of them's called Mon Village, Camping Mon Village. So they're in the villages and they're usually the ones, well for me, they look like the ones that that are more uh, more rural, more space. So anyway, so I'll walk around. So there's your uh, CCTV. This is the old block for what was the campsite. Service point here. Two water points. There's, there's electric on there as well. I'm not sure what, what that's for. Um, yeah. Your standard emptying of your grey and your black, rinsing your cartridge and topping up your water, all part of the charge. This is the old campsite block. It has 28 pitches on this one. There's your bin area, your recycling and all your rubbish. Yeah, 28 pitches. Lovely setting. We arrived here yesterday. Really peaceful evening. We look walk into the town. Lovely little place. Not a lot there, but nice. It's got the river, you see. It always makes a difference when you buy water and you're watching the boats. It's really nice. And uh, there was only three pitches available last night by the end of it. And a lot of them I've got up and gone today. Using it as a stopover. We, we decided to stop for two nights. We've got three more. Oh, four more nights before we make the crossing back over to the UK on the tunnel. So, yeah, just a bit of relaxed time. Like we need it. We just had five nights in Annecy. But yeah, so over the road here is the, uh, the river area. It really is a lovely little spot, to be fair. Cracky little spot. And over the river there on the other side is uh, another campsite, which is a, a campsite campsite rather than a, a motorhome stop. Oh yeah, there's the river. A few boats in this part of the marina. As you go around the corner, the town opens up. A lovely bridge. A few little restaurants, cafes. Some shops in the town. Nice little square. It's got a lovely old church as well that's being restored. We're not too far from Dijon. We're just a little bit, uh, a little bit southwest of Dijon. I don't know, 25 kilometres maybe. 25 or so. Oh yeah. There's the tourism office of France. The kids playing area. And you come down to the river. It's a big old stretch of water. Another 
boats moored up along the side. Big bridge that goes over. Quite a few lorries going over. That's quite a busy road up there. But down here is nice and quiet. Got football ground over there. Obviously, it's not football season right now. Otherwise, we'll be off to the match tomorrow. Being it Saturday tomorrow. We are relaxing. We are absolutely relaxing. It's, it's a good day. This is a great place. 12 euros 60. We've got the pastis and the water on the go. We've got the sunshine and the shade. We've got the river. Yeah. We better start doing some more stuff, love. We seem to have just... <laughs> feels like we're on holiday. <laughs> if you ever wonder what the fridge is like while we're away, we're going home in a few days, don't forget, so it's almost empty. It's got the essentials in there. You've got your meats, your cheeses, Bought some fresh baguettes this morning. Got your eggs, at least pre-cooked some potatoes ready for frying up. There's a watermelon in the foil there, some cherries, some juice, fresh veg down the bottom. All oh, your yeah, sauces, a bit of sweet stuff. And we went to this place, a friend of mine sent me to this place in uh, Strasbourg. He's a German guy and uh, he said this is an amazing meat place. We went there with your Argentinian fillet steak. We bought um, yeah, ribs, all sorts of stuff, skewers, loads. It's fantastic. It's a huge warehouse. So if you ever pass in Strasbourg, look for the place called Schwarm. Schwarm. Schwarm? I think it's written there somewhere. If not, yeah, it is. Schwarm. Schwarm. Definitely worth a visit. Another top tip put a flannel, wet a flannel, put it in the freezer. On a really hot day, you take it outside, within half a minute it's already started to defrost, you put that on your forehead and rub it, that's lovely, that's how you refresh yourself up. Yeah, top tip. Obviously beer, panache, love a bit of panache. And uh, yeah, one in France, there is no ale. Well there is ale. Oh yes, there is ale. Now this, if you're in France, I know it's in the fridge, it shouldn't be, but... Nikasi French IPA, I swear to God, I like English ale, it's my favourite, a nice pint of bitter. This stuff is absolutely worth getting. Yeah, we sleep around, we are the Charter Smiths, and let's travel more. I'll pack up my bags. And you thought the only cheese was in the fridge. <laughs> Why are you waiting for your flower to defrost? What I do, because I'm healthy, is I have a nice glass of um, skimmed milk. Which is a delicacy in France. Cheers. So good. Oh no, that's done. Merci beaucoup.